Welcome to this developer guide on connecting a front end to your blockchain application. We will use Settlement, Polygon Mumbai, Web3 Auth, and the Wagme library. The application will deploy an ERC20 smart contract and create a front end to send that token to any address on the Polygon testnet. The first step is to deploy the Polygon network and node using Settlement. To do this, we will create our application using the launcher on the top right of the dashboard. Click Add an Application, name the application Token Sender, and click Confirm. From there, we can click on the Start Here button, and then click on Add a Blockchain Network. We can then select Polygon and Polygon Mumbai and click Confirm. We now need to name our network. Let's call it Token Sender. Choose a deployment plan by selecting shared and choosing a provider and location nearest to you. The network and node are deployed. It is now time to create a private key so we can fund our wallet. To do this, click on the private keys on the left. Create a private key and we will choose the accessible option. Let's name the, this private key token sender again. Then select the node we want to attach it to and click Confirm. Now let's get the address of this wallet by clicking on the wallet, Details, and copying the address. Now we will go to the Polygon Testnet faucet to get test tokens. We'll paste our wallet address in, click Submit, and Confirm. It will take one to two minutes for the tokens to arrive in our wallet. Let's head back to Settlement to confirm that we have received our tokens. We can go to the Balances section of the Private Key menu and look at the balances. We should see 0.2 testmatic has been sent to our account. Now that we have the TOS tokens, let's deploy our own ERC20 smart contract using Settlement. To do, the, to do this, go to the Smart Contract Sets, click Add a Smart Contract Set, select the node, and the ERC20 smart contract template. Let's call this smart contract set token sender, and then select the deployment plan we used earlier to deploy the network and node. Click confirm, and then wait for this resource to deploy. Once deployed, click on the smart contract name, and then IDE, and view in full screen mode. This will open the IDE, which we will use to edit our smart contract code. Once it has loaded the smart contract, we only need to make a small edit to deploy the token we want. Click on the deploy option on the right side, click on deploy generic token, and then we will rename our generic token to whatever token name that we choose. For this demo, we will call this video token and make the symbol watch. Once we have set the token name and symbol on line 15, we can compile our smart contract by selecting the task manager icon on the left. This will load up the options and tasks that we can run on this smart contract. The first one we will do is to click compile, which is under the hard hat option. This will start the compiling process in the terminal below. Once that is complete, now we can deploy our smart contract to the Polygon testnet. We will do this by clicking on the task manager and clicking on the smart contract deploy option. This will start the deployment process. Once that is complete, you will see the exact address of where this contract has been deployed on the Polygon testnet. Now we can start to build our front end by using the template we have created in a GitHub repo. Go to the repo linked at the bottom of this video. Select the code option and then copy the HTTPS link below. If you find this repo useful, please give us a star as well. Now head over to your terminal and type the git clone command along with the URL and the copied that you copied from the repo. This will clone the repo. Now head to the file that was just created called settlement next JS Wagme. I'm using the code command to open VS Code and the project files in my code editor. The next step is to configure Wagme to work with our settlement deployment and our smart contract. Let's open up our code editor, go to the SRC file, 
click on pages, and then open up the app TSX file. The first thing we'll do is insert our RPC URL to connect to our node. To get this URL, go back to settlement and click on blockchain nodes on the left. Then select the token sender node. We can select JSON RPC to send the request directly, but for this guy, we will click on connect and then copy the JSON RPC URL. Then head back to your code editor and paste the URL into line 23 where it says RPC URL here. To get access to our node, we also need to create an API key. To do this, go back to settlement, click on your profile icon in the top right, then select API keys. Click generate new API key, set the name to token sender, then select all of the resources available to, for this key to have access to. And then we will also make sure that this key does not expire by selecting no expiration. Then click confirm. And then you'll see your key generated there. Click copy. And then paste that API key onto line 23 next to your URL you just pasted earlier, as well on line 35 where the URL is. So now your code should look like this with line 23 and on line 34 with the URL and API key included. Our last step is to create a Web3 auth project for our wallet front end. To do this, we will go to the Web3 auth website at the URL that you see here. Create an account and log in. Then select add a new project on the left. We will call this project Token Sender. Select the plug and play product. The platform being a web application and select chain to be EVM based chain and then create the project. This will now create a client ID. Copy in that client ID and head back to VS Code to paste this information in. Go to line 31 where it says insert client ID here and paste it within the quotation marks. The last information we need to add is our contract address. Head over to the contract data folder, click on data.js, and we already have our ABI of the contract set. We now need to paste in our contract address. To do this, head back over to the settlement IDE. Go to the deployments folder, select a generic token JSON file, and there you will see the contract address, address at the top. Copy the address, Go back to VS Code and paste that in within the quotes. We now have all the information we are ready and are ready to run our application. This application will be using Next.js and communicating with our Polygon node and smart contract. To run our application, go to VS Code or a terminal and type in the npm run dev. This will start our Next.js application. You will see that this has been supported on localhost. If you go back to your browser and type in the localhost address, you will see now our application running on localhost 3000 and the Web3 auth wallet opening up. Our first step is to interact with interacting with our wallet is to add our private key into MetaMask. You can do this by selecting accounts, import account, and then entering your private key. To get this information, go back to settlement, select private keys, details, and then copy your private key. We can go back to our application and paste the private key into MetaMask by selecting accounts, add account, import account, and then pasting the private key string. Click on import, and you will see now the point two Matic that we added earlier. Now let's click on connect wallet on the Web3 auth menu, select MetaMask and connect our account. To confirm that this has worked, we can see the tokens to send is the watch token we created earlier. In this application, we need to also be able to send tokens to another address. So I will go ahead and copy and paste an address I have already in MetaMask by switching over to that account, selecting the address, and then pasting into the send tokens to. 
Then we will designate how many tokens we want to send. Let's just send 500 for now. Then make sure to switch back to the to, uh, account that you have within MetaMask that is attached to the node that we deployed. Click on connect. Now we can go into send tokens and get a confirmation that the tokens are being sent. MetaMask will now open up to confirm the transaction by signing it. Click on confirm. And we also get a confirmation that tokens have been sent. We can open up MetaMask now and see that that transaction is pending. And once complete, we will also see that the transaction has been confirmed. To find the written version of this guide and more guides like this, head over to the Settlement Developer Hub, which is linked below.